Everyday millions of Bic pens are bought, sold, and used. Every second, 300 pens are sold worldwide. They are so popular that millions of Bic pens are manufactured every day. Fortunately, a company is willing to endure this insatiable demand for pens. But how are Bic pens made? We visited the factory to find out how the world's most famous pens are made. Remind we have a giveaway of a $100 value item of your choice for the first 1,000 subscribers. Hurry up and don't miss it. It all started when the inventor of the ballpoint pen was not convinced of the usefulness of the fountain pen or pencils when it came to writing quickly. In 1938, he noticed how a wet ball left a trail of water when rolling through a puddle, and thus he came up with the idea of the ballpoint pen. A curious fact about Bic pens is that the company's founder, Marcel Bitch, decided to change the spelling of his last name from Bitch to Bic to ensure proper pronunciation and avoid it being misread as a vulgar word in English. The Bic pen, which was first introduced in 1950, has become one of the most popular ballpoint pens in the world with over 100 billion Bic pens produced to date. Additionally, the Bic Crystal Ballpoint Pen, which was introduced in 1959, has been featured in the permanent collection of the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Later, he figured out how to store the ink in a small device that would make it flow smoothly when writing without spilling. In 1951, the French nationalized industrial inventor Marcel Bitch popularized the patent by developing a similar design with the Bic brand. As a result, people with limited resources could buy one of them, and he continued to lower the price until it became one of the cheapest pens in the world. Thanks to the low cost and high quality of this product, the fame of the Bic pen quickly spread worldwide. Today, the company has approximately 25 factories around the world where billions of pens are produced every year. To visit the Bic pen factory, we have to go to Paris, the capital of France, where the main headquarters of Bic is located. This company was created in 1950, and its unique vision of the ballpoint pen quickly captured a large part of the market. Since then, they have manufactured over 110 billion units. The key to producing the perfect ballpoint pen is in the small metal ball at the tip. The task of this ball is to control the flow of ink when the pen is not in use, sealing the liquid ink inside. When writing, it rotates and transfers the precise amount of ink to the paper. The production of Bic Pen starts with the ball, which looks like a small ball. The balls are only one millimeter in diameter and are made of tungsten carbide, a very resistant material that is 10 times stronger than steel. In theory, these pens should last a lifetime, but when the ink runs out, they are discarded. This material is so incredibly hard and resistant that it is also used to make anti-armor ammunition in the military industry. The tungsten carbide balls, barely one millimeter in diameter, are manufactured by subjecting fine powder to heat and enormous pressure in a machine called a compressor. And after this process, the balls are not smooth or perfectly spherical in shape. To achieve the necessary dimensions and geometries, the balls are introduced into a polisher, a kind of rotating drum in which the balls, lubricating oil, and a paste made of diamond powder are placed. Samples are taken from all batches to look for and detect possible defects. If more than one ball out of every 5,000 is found to be imperfect, the entire batch is removed and destroyed. This part houses the ball and is made by punching a piece of stainless steel. To work properly, it is vital that the ball fits perfectly into the female part leaving only a minimal gap for the ink to pass through. The production of the pen tips should start with a manufacturing process known as stamping. This process is carried out as a mechanical operation in which a rounded and semi-pointed shape is given to one end of the piece. Once the tip is ready, it must be assembled with the ball. But how do they make the tips of the pens hold these slippery balls? 
This must be done with strict surveillance to ensure that everything fits perfectly. When both pieces are correctly unified, they must pass a test that determines if the assembly does not affect the flow of the ink. In the ink factory, the master mixer creates the best ink in the city, which is a precise mixture of dyes, resins, and solvents. It is made with 10% of 31% oil solvent to ensure that the mixture is correct and fluid without problems. It is crucial that it is neither too thick nor too watery. Afterwards, the ink is introduced into a plastic tube that is shaped by extrusion and heat. The hexagonal shape of the pen is made with a type of plastic called polypropylene, a material that perfectly withstands extreme temperatures and impacts. It is obtained by heating the polypropylene and injecting it into a mold that gives it the shape of the pen's barrel. The same thing happens with the cap and the pen's top, which are formed by injection molding. This is an industrial process in which plastic molding is achieved by means of continuous flow of pressure and thrust. This is achieved by passing melted polymer through a hole, obtaining a cross section identical to the shape of the hole, and then cutting the excluded material to the desired size. All this process is carried out with the help of an extruder machine. This is capable of melting a plastic material and then pumping it out uniformly through a nozzle. Once this process is finished, it will be passed through cold water to cool the material. Once all the pieces are formed, the big pens must be assembled. As a first step, the ball made of tungsten material must be inserted into the thinner end of the tip. This work is done in a huge assembly room, where many machines fit the pieces together 24 hours a day. The plastic tubes are filled with ink and attached to the tip. They are then introduced into a machine that injects 1.3 grams into the ink cartridge of each pen. Then the tips are attached to the filled cartridges. All pens are examined to ensure that they have all the components and that they have caps and tops of the correct color. They should be able to draw a straight line without stopping and without running out of ink for more than two kilometers. In case the pen is retractable, a spring must be added at this step to make this retractable mechanism work. A cam must be used followed by applying a piston with some notches to fit into the teeth of the can. To finish this arduous process, all the assembled pieces of the barrel and the tip must be placed inside the pen's body. Then a plastic cap of the same color as the ink is placed on the end. Finally, the pens will be packaged in their respective boxes, distributed and sold worldwide. Only in the United States, an incredible figure of 1 billion disposable pens is spent each year with the guarantee that each cartridge can write up to two kilometers. Give the video a like if you liked it, and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating notifications to keep learning. Bye-bye.